What's going on YouTube? And welcome to my first episode in my new series, A Beginner's Guide to Xcode. And in this first episode, what I'll be talking about is the benefits of developer's license and actually how to download Xcode. So what is a developer's license? Well, firstly, we know downloading Xcode is free and developing your app is free. But what you can't do is download the app onto your device before you actually distribute it to the Apple App Store and test it on your own device and you can't actually distribute it without a license. So how much does it cost? Per year, an iOS developer program it costs £99 and here are the different tariffs. I'll put the link in the description. And you can see it has the iOS developer program for an individual and for a company and then there's a few more and there's the Mac one and Safari is free. But as you can see in this tab here, what you get to do is uh, you get to develop it with a couple more online tools and Dev Center. But you can actually download it onto your own device and test it. So, say it needs to use a camera or something, you can't really necessarily do that in the simulator on your actual on actual Xcode. So you might want to download it and try it on your own device. And you can also you can also distribute it to the Apple App Store. So now you know what a developer's license does. To download Xcode, what you'll need is a Mac. And I'm assuming you'll need a Mac with the latest OS. Um, so you can buy a Mac from the Apple Store, which is where most people get theirs from. But they are quite a hefty investment. They are quite expensive. So there are several other options. Um, instead of just getting a, a MacBook Pro or Air or iMac, you can get a Mac Mini, which are significantly cheaper, but they're still pretty expensive. So you can get refurbished Macs or them secondhand from uh, places like eBay or whatever, but you can see cheaper than what a MacBook Pro would be or an iMac. So it's a shame that they're quite expensive, but you do get quite a lot um, more benefits of having a Mac um, than you would without one. But for Xcode, you need a Mac. So once you've got your Mac, to download Xcode, you'll need to go to the Mac App Store. So here it is. So once you start up the App Store, you want to go to search bar and search Xcode. Should be the first suggestion that pops up. Just click on that. And here you go. So it's got a hammer and the blueprints is the icon. So if we click on it, you'll see that it is almost two gig. So quite a big download. Um, and depending on your internet speed, it will depend on how quick you actually download it. But to once you've got to this page to download it, here will be a button that says free. Click on it and click install. But as I've already installed it, I've got it here. So once you've actually downloaded Xcode, you'll be able to see that the icon's here. So if I click on it and start it up, you have a couple of pop-ups and there you go, you have Xcode. So that's it for this episode. But make sure you stay tuned for episode two, where we talk about a couple of uh, bits of terminology, so words we'll use in Xcode when coding, things you may not understand already. So thanks for watching, and see you guys later.